and welcome back to my channel it's Ashley here and if you are new hey girl hey so I'm excited to show you how I made this sign using the little houses that you can get from Target Bullseye so to get started I am going to show you how you can actually make the sign I don't know that didn't make any sense so the first thing we're gonna start with is actually making the actual sign. So I took some Luan plywood, that is what I use all the time, it's super inexpensive and I normally get it from Lowe's but I'm pretty sure you can pick it up from Home Depot as well. And this is actually a scrap piece and it was a little crooked so I just took it to my table saw and I just took off the piece that, well the top of the piece that I didn't need to kind of make it straighter. Honestly this the size of this piece was perfect for the houses already. So if you don't have a table saw or anything like that at your house, if you buy your wood from Lowe's or Home Depot, they will cut it for you. So you can just buy your wood. I'll have the dimensions for the sign that I made down below just in case you need those when you go into your store. So after that, the next thing that I did was I spray painted the piece of plywood. So first I spray painted it this almond light color. I don't really remember the color, but I spray painted that color. It didn't really match the whole vibe that I was kind of going for. So I actually ended up spray painting it the heirloom white color again. Now it's time to frame up the plywood. So to frame up the plywood, I'm using some one by two by eight boards. And I just like to take the boards to the sign and mark off where I need to cut it. And then I take it to my miter saw and I cut it down to the size that I need. So I did that for both the top and the sides. Now, if you want your sides to be longer than your top, then you're going to need to, of course, cut your sides out first. Then you then you're going to cut your top pieces off so however you would like your sign to be but most of the time i do my top two pieces first and then i do the two side pieces so for the frame pieces instead of staining them this time i took this rust-oleum metallic bronzy color i don't quite remember but it's gonna be in here so you'll see it but I took that color and I just spray painted that onto my wood instead of staining it because I loved the shimmer effect that it had but it also had that brown tone in it so I was super excited about that and I love how the frame actually turned out so that's what I did for the frame after that I had to put of course all of this together so to do that I just took my wood clamps and I put my frame to Together with the plywood and then I took my wood clamp <laughs> I took my wood clamp and I clamped the piece together to make sure it was nice and tight and then I just took my nail gun and I nailed the sides together all right so we got our frames done and now it's time to work on those houses so again I got these houses from Target bullseye and they were only three dollars and you get six houses so I removed them from their little banner. Um, well, I removed them from the string, which it was a banner, but I removed it from the string because we're not going to use it as a banner. And then after I did that, I just took some putty, spackle, whatever you want to call it, and I was filling in the holes at the top. And then once I started to do that, I was like, oh my gosh, because it was drying um, white. It looks like frost. So I was like, I definitely have to do this to the entire roof of each house. So that is what I did, and I absolutely love that look. So you can leave it like this if you want but I wanted to give a little bit more dimension so I took my spray adhesive and I took this outside and I sprayed them and then I brought them back inside and I took the faux snow again that you can get from Target Bullseye and I just started to flurry that around the tops of each house and I just loved the look that it gave each one of them so after the houses are all done it's time to actually start putting this whole entire sign together so to do that I took these LED lights that I purchased from Amazon I think you get like a pack of six for like $7.99 or $6.99 or something like that but I'll have a link down below and they're the warm white lights and so what I'm gonna do with these is I'm actually going to add them to the bottom of the sign so to do that I just popped my sign back out and then I added the LED to the inside so that when I pop it back in the back will have the on and off switch and then the front of course will have the LED lights and it will hide everything and you don't have to worry about what, what am I going to do with the back of the LED so you can attach that using either hot glue E6000 whatever you want to use I would actually just like use either tape or E6 or um your hot glue so you'll be able to 
remove it and replace the batteries. So I started to twist the LED lights so it'll be easier for when I'm gluing them on there so they won't be going everywhere and they'll stick with each other. So that is what I did. So I twisted the LED lights and then I added them using my hot glue. After I added my LED lights, it was time to add my houses. And this is like the, this is just, both of these steps are very simple. So the next thing is adding your houses. So to add the houses, you can use your E6000 or you can use your hot glue. Um, honestly, if you use the E6000, your houses are going to like, they're not going to be, they're not going to stick right away, you know, when you use E6000. So I would recommend maybe using E6000 and a little bit of your hot glue too, so that it can be stuck in place as soon as you put them on there. So that's what I did. So I used the hot glue and then I started to add my houses along my sign. And then after that, I saw that you can kind of still see the LED lights, which is fine because if you put this like on your fireplace mantle or if you put it, these will look really good too if you have like the kitchen at the top of your kitchen where you can put stuff, this will look cute there too. But if you add it there, you wouldn't really be able to see it. But I just wanted to add the little flurry of snow at the bottom. So I just took it outside real fast and just took my spray adhesive and sprayed it. And then I added that snow on top of there and that was it. So if you want to hang this up, the next step that you want to do of course is to add just a sawtooth hanger to the back which you can get those from Walmart for like 97 cents so all in all I love how this sign turned out it looks amazing and I just I, I like look at it I'm like oh my gosh this is awesome so I don't know where I'm gonna put it in my house just yet but it looks good at night it looks good lit up when the sun is starting to go down even when it's not I love the way that it looks as well I mean you can put this like I said on your fireplace mantle you can put it on top of the kitchen cabinets and stuff like that so I just love this just in general I think it's amazing I hope you guys love this as well if you did make sure you give this video a big thumbs up make sure you comment down below to let me know what you think again this is my last time telling you guys if you're not a part of my email list you want to get a part of the email list because I have a special offer exclusively for my email list and that is going to be sent out December 2nd so I will have the link down below for you if you're not a part of that email list um, if you haven't watched my latest video I will have it linked up here if you aren't subscribed to my channel make sure you click on that subscribe button and I will see you in my next one